We have with us Mr. Rajnath Singh, an Indian politician and lecturer who is serving as the Defence Minister of India since May 2019. We are truly honoured to have you as our chief guest. Sir, Mr. Rajnath Singh, an Indian politician and lecturer who is serving as the Defence Minister of India since May 2019. Sir has also been the Deputy Leader of House Lok Sabha from 2019 to 2024. Served as the first the Home Minister in the first Modi Ministry from 2014 to 2019, making him the first born Indian to obtain that position. Sir has also held the position of President of Bharatiya Janata Party from 2005 to 2009. He's a master's degree in physics, acquiring the first division results from Gorakhpur University. From childhood, Sir has been inspired by the ideology of Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sangh, National Volunteer Union. Sir is a true devotee, Hindu at heart, known for his soft-spoken nature. We are truly honoured to have you here with us. Thank you very much. Dr. Professor Rajesh Shah, President, World Association of Laparoscopy Surgeons, Dr. Professor R.K. Bisra, Organizing Chairman of WALS, Surgeon Vice Admiral R.K. Shinaha, DG Armed Forces Medical Services, Dr. Avijat Seth, President of the National Board of Examinations, Dr. Professor Bhavani Dhalla, Organizing Co-Chairman of WALS, Dr. P.K. Chobe, Chairman Institute of Minimal Access, Max Hospital, New Delhi, Dr. Mandeep Sachdev, Registrar, Haryana Medical Council, Surgeon and Gynecologist present here, friends from Bidya, ladies and gentlemen. Friends, this conference of today is not only to celebrate the groundbreaking advancements in laparoscopic and robotic surgery, but also to honor the rich legacy and profound contributions of India to the global field of medicines. India's surgical heritage dates back to the pioneering work of Sustra, often hailed as the father of surgery. His timeless treatise, the Sustra Sangita, laid the foundation for modern surgical practices with its meticulous description of over 300 procedures and a vast array of the surgical instruments. Friends, the values of precision, compassion and innovation exemplified by Sustrut are now echoed in the cutting edge advancements we witness today in the laparoscopic and the robotic surgery. Innovations that embody efficiency, patient effort, and superior outcomes. Friends, the impact of laparoscopy and robotic surgery in transforming healthcare delivery in India cannot be overstated. These advanced technologies are not just innovations, they are solutions to some of the most pressing challenges in our healthcare system. First and foremost, they offer a minimally innovative approach, reducing recovery time, minimizing post-operative pain, and shortening hospital stays. In a country as populous as India, where hospital resources are often stretched thin, this is a game changer. Secondly, they have the potential to improve healthcare accessibility in rural areas. By training surgeons and equipping hospitals outside major cities with these technologies, we can ensure that the high quality surgical care is no longer limited to urban centers. In fact, robotic systems with the training surgical capabilities can help bridge the gap even further, bringing export surgical care to remote locations. Another crucial aspect is their role in addressing the growing burden of lifestyle diseases. With rising cases of obesity, heredity, and cancer, precision driven robotic and laparoscopic procedures provide safer and more effective ways to manage the conditions, improving patient outcomes significantly.
and less invasive interventions in gynecology and of ethics, ensuring better health care for women and new laws, ultimately contributing to improved maternal and child health indicators. Laparoscopy and robotic surgery are not just about technological advancement. They are about accessibility, efficiency and saving lives. As we continue to embrace these innovations, we move closer to a future where high quality surgical care is available to all, regardless of location or circumstances. <coughs> Friends, we are witnessing the health care revolution in India. Driven by groundbreaking technological advancement such as AI surgery and artificial intelligence or AI, AI surgery is enabled by high speed internet and advanced robotic systems, allows surgeons to operate on patients located thousands of kilometers away. This is a game changer for a vast country like India. Where access to a specialized care in remote regions <clears throat> has long been a challenge by enabling experienced surgeons to perform complex procedures from afar. Any surgery eliminates geographical barriers and ensures equitable healthcare access. Moreover, AI-driven surgical system enhance precision and safely by providing real-time data, imaging, and guidance during procedures. These tools not only improve surgical outcomes, but also reduce the margin of error, fostering greater confidence among patients and practitioners alike. As we embrace these medical marvels, we must remain committed to achieving three critical objectives. First, bringing advanced sur surgical care to every corner of India. Laparoscopic, robotic and tele-surgical techniques should not be confined to urban hospitals. They must reach rural and undeserved areas, ensuring that no citizen is deprived of quality health care simply due to where they live. Second, positioning India as a global hub for minimal access surgery training. India has already made its mark in surgical education and innovation. Our world-class institutions must continue to attract surgeons from across the world, setting new benchmarks in minimal access surgery and fostering global collaborations. And friends, and finally, enhancing national growth through medical excellence. A healthy population is the foundation of a prosperous nation. By leveraging the advanced surgical techniques, we not only reduce the disease burden, but also boost national productivity and improve the quality of life for millions. Friends, under the dynamic leadership of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, our health care landscape has witnessed a remarkable transformation over the past decade. The progress we have made is not just about numbers. It is about saving lives, improving access, and ensuring a healthier future for every citizen. Today, I want to highlight some of the landmark achievements that have revolutionize healthcare delivery across the country. One of the most significant one of the most significant advancements has been the expansion of the medical institutions. Before 2014, India had only six functional aims. Today that number number has risen to 22 with 12 already operational and four more under construction bringing world-class healthcare facilities closer to people across the nation. The number of medical colleges has increased by an astounding 102 percent 
rising from 387 in 2014 to 780 in 2024. This expansion has led to a 130% rise in MBBS seats and a 135% increase in the postgraduate medical seats. Strengthening the backbone of our healthcare system with a highly trained workforce to ensure last mile connectivity in the healthcare over 1.73 lakh Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers have been established, benefiting millions of people through wellness seasons. seasons. Tele -consult <coughs> the teleconsultations and screening for diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, and cancer. These centers are truly transforming healthcare accessibility at the grassroots level. Moreover, our humanization progress has set new global benchmarks. Mission Indra Dhanush has completed 12 phases, immunizing over 5.46 crore children and 1.32 crore pregnant women. On top of that, India's COVID-19 vaccination drive has been a historic success, administering, administering over 220 crore doses and uh, demonstrating our ability to pro protect public health on an unprecedented scale. Friends, India has also achieved major milestones in disease control and we have been certified polio-free and have successfully eliminated maternal and neonatal tetanus. Our natal immunization strategy has introduced six new vaccines, including those for rotavirus and pneumococcal diseases. Most recently, in 2024, India successfully eradicated trachoma, a major cause of preventable blindness. The incidence of malaria, dengue, tuberculosis, and the Kala are the remarkable decline thanks to targeted public health initiatives and early intervention strategies. Friends, we believe that quality health care should not be a privilege. It should be a right for all. That is why our government has approved the health coverage to all the senior citizens aged 70 years and above, irrespective of their socio-economic status and the flagship scheme Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arug Yojana. Moreover, free drugs and uh, diagnostics services have been rolled out across 36 states and union territory, dramatically reducing out-of-pocket expenses for millions. The free drug service initiative has ensured that essential medicines and uh, diagnostic services are now more accessible and affordable than ever before, continuing our journey of healthcare transformation, it is essential to the highlight the government's unwavering commitment to the well-being of our armed forces. Recognizing the unparalleled contributions and sacrifices of our defense personnel, Significant strides have been made to ensure they receive the highest standard of the medical care. One of the most impactful initiatives in this regard is the Yak Servicemen Contributory Health Scheme or ECHS, which provides cashless high quality treatment at both private and the government hospitals. This initiative ensures that those who have dedicated their lives to the service of our nation 
do not have a worry about access to the critical health care when they need it the most. In addition to this, military hospitals across the country have been strengthened with cutting-edge technology. Equipped with state-of-the-art robotic surgery systems and advanced laparoscopic facilities, these institutions are delivering world-class treatment to our defense personnel. Friends, furthermore, trauma care has been reverse, revolutionized with specialized training programs focused on battlefield injury management. By incorporating laparoscopic and robotic assisted techniques, military medical teams are now better prepared to handle trauma cases with precision and efficiency, ultimately serving lives in high-risk combat zones. The achievement reflect India's commitment to inclusive, advanced and compassionate healthcare, the growing role of laparoscopy, robotic surgery and telesurgery is integral to this vision, offering a blend of technological prowess and patient-centered care. I urge each of you, the torch bearers of the surgical excellence, to continue pushing boundaries, embracing innovations, and dedicating yourselves to the service of humanity. World Congress of Lacrosbocky Surgeons 2025 is not just an event, it is a platform to ignite transformative ideas, share expertise, and chart the future of the minimal access surgery in India and the world. As the Defense Minister of this nation, I am filled with pride and gratitude for the unparalleled commitment shown by the medical community. Your hands carry the hope, health and the healing of millions. Together, let us build a health, healthier, stronger and more resilient India. As I conclude my address, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the 70 surgeons and gynecologists on earning their fellowship in minimal access surgery. I have no doubt that you will continue to make a profound impact on your patients' lives and contribute significantly to the advancement of laparoscopic and robotic surgery. I also take this opportunity to commend the unwavering efforts of the World Association of Laparoscopic Surgeons for its outstanding contributions to the field of laparoscopic and robotic surgery. My special appreciation goes to Dr. R. K. Vishra, Organizing Chairman, Dr. Bhaudeep Singh Bhalla, Organizing Co-Chairman, and Dr. Rajesh Sah, President Walls, along with the entire Organizing Committee of WALS 2025 for their dedication and hard work in making this event a resounding success. Thank you all and best wishes for your future and endeavors. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. We are truly honored to hear from you and to be a part of the WALS 2025. Uh, thank you so much. Here we have Mr. Rajnath Singh. A loud applause for sir, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So nice of you. Our Indian politician and lecturer holding a serving yeah. as the Defense Minister of India. Thank you, sir.